And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Rakdos Aristocrats. That's right, it's time to bring it back. It's been a little while since we've played this sweet red-black aggro deck, but we're going to be playing it again here. So since the last time that we played it, we had, you know, Bantu or two in here. We had a fourth Mayhem Devil. You know, our curve was a little bit higher, and uh, we were only playing two Gutter Bones, and I want to get more Gutter Bones in here. So we got, we're going with the four. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm, like, at the end of the last video that we played, this is where I said that I wanted the deck, and so that's where we're going. We're going just really... Uh, compact here which is all ones twos and threes 21 lands um i guess 22 lands and uh and just you know nice consistency you know we get the fourth chandra acolyte of flame in here that wasn't in there before and pretty excited about this i guess uh for just like a little recap if you don't really understand why this deck is called aristocrats it's, that's a throwback to a return to ravnica standard deck uh, that was around, that was built around Cartel Aristocrat. Um, and I think it had Falcon Wrath Aristocrat in it as well. But basically, the the Aristocrat name is saying, it's referring to playing small creatures that you are uh, sacrificing for some kind of profit. So that's what we're doing. We're playing small, undersized creatures that we're sacrificing for profit. And uh, you can tell that by the Mayhem Devil. Whenever any any player sacrifices a permanent it deals one damage to any target so the way that we can get to sacrifice stuff is of course we have priest of forgotten gods who is like the main aristocrat card in standard right now um you know we need we need a lot of creatures because we want to sacrifice two to make our opponent sacrifice one and we get two mana and get to draw a card um yeah yeah i think the god eternal is too expensive yeah i'm, I'm, not, I'm just not interested in playing five mana cards in this this deck you know, we have our Firebrands that get to sacrifice, our Mask of Immolation, which has been a, a pretty impressive card, uh, which get to attack to creatures and sacrifice them to do some extra damage, and Chandra's second zero ability that creates two elemental creatures. You also sacrifice those creatures as well, so that triggers the Mayhem Devil. So we got a lot of, a lot of little sacrificing stuff to do here. Uh, new card in the sideboard since last time is the Blood Suns. I took out a Tybalt. I don't think Tybalt is maybe as necessary uh, to have in the sideboard. I like the first Tybalt because the, the Tybalt, it, it's basically a card that gets you multiple creatures that also is a pretty good card that does other things. And, you know, you need multiple creatures with Priest. So we have the first one in here, but it's it's not my favorite card in the deck, but it's in here. But took out the one from the sideboard for a Blood Sun, and we had some other removal spell. Oh, I think we had the fourth Shock in here, and it got rid of that Shock. Um, and I also got some Legion's Ends in here also. Um, I don't remember what we took out for those. But um, there we go. That's what we have. Uh, get an Experimental Frenzy with a low curve. I, I don't know. We'll, uh, maybe Tybalt could be Experimental Frenzy, maybe. That maybe. That could be a thing, but I like what we got going on here. Let's... Let's just go ahead and, and uh, try out our traditional constructed queue here. And let's give our deck a try. I'm I'm pretty confident in this one. I think that we're gonna be doing pretty well here. I like this one. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't want evolving wilds. I don't want to I don't want to tap land in a deck that has such a low curve that's trying to use all its mana early on in the game. Yeah, I have I have twenty two lands, not twenty four. <laughs> Animusha, I, I just got done explaining that. But basically, aristocrats means that we're sacrificing our own creatures, basically. Why do we have to play against mono red? Ugh. Remember us like playing against mono red the other times whenever we play this deck. Because we are, we are a little, we are just a little bit slower than like regular mono red, and so we're a little behind in like the regular mono red matchup. But you don't see ten street dodger in a regular mono red matchup. That's why this is a cavalcade of calamity matchup. 
I would not have been keeping with this hand on the play, by the way. I kept it on the draw because, you know, just really need the one red source to, to kind of go with it. I kept it on the draw, but I would not have been keeping it on the play. And it's starting to make me feel like I shouldn't have kept it on the draw either. Need to kill that thing. Yeah, it could be the avatar. Need the Rakdos avatar. That's not lucky. Okay, learn my lesson. Mulligan. Mulligan more. Lesson learned. Lesson learned, Mulligan more. Yeah, Spitfire is going to be a little bit of a problem. That's true. Is it better to play one Big Chandra or one Duress? One Duress. Y'all want Chandra? I'm gonna go two to esque and, and take out the mask of immolation. Why do y'all yeah, Tibalt is just kinda slow though, right? Like three mana to make a one one. I don't know, with, without wanting Priest of Forgotten Gods, I'm not as interested in Tibalt. All right, well, I'm not going to go down to five. We'll just, because everything costs one except for this butcher. Let's get rid of the Firebrand, the Gutter Bones. No, not the Gutter Bones, the Firebrand. Yeah, Mu Yanling's not helping us <clears throat> with this deck. We need to change out Mu. You get like some Angrath. All right, got that. Dreadhorde Butcher to be a 2 2, pretty clutch there.
Hmm. We'll see if they want to activate the dodger to make it unblockable, hold the firebrand back. It does take up their, like if they do that plan, it does take up a mana to make it so they're not going to be able to cast the spitfire. Hey, good brother. So I'm probably going to be pick, putting the gutter bones back in my hand and playing it again, assuming the gutter bones is dying this turn. Which, yep, there we go. It's dying this turn. <laughs> no, that wasn't that wasn't Hawkeye. That was the cat in game. Hawkeye is curled up asleep on the couch behind him, behind that table there. But yeah, that's true. The in-game net cat is named Hawkeye. That's true. This is Hawkeye here, so. That's lethal. Chandra. Here be monsters. I don't think this deck is bad at all. One level away from the uncommon cat, nice. Hey, there you, oh, you went, made top eight of the 10K? Then split in top eight? Awesome, way to go, good job. That's awesome, good brother, way to go. So that's what we need, we need an Angrath. Now we have lands and spells. We want to just keep on drawing spells now though. We actually have, yeah, we actually have good mana. We have red and Black mana also. Interesting. 
took the firebrand. That's interesting. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't stream any other game. I have a Nintendo Switch that I'll play some off stream, but but no, I don't stream any other games. Uh, you have to go to your profile. Go to your profile and make sure that the cat is enabled on there. To see the cat on the battlefield. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on. Say hi to my fiery friends. Yes, Vindictive Vampire is too slow for this deck. It is weaker than every every card that every other option that we have there. <laughs> yeah, but Bonnie, I'm pretty old though. Thank me later. So Othakaya is quite annoying. Don't worry. I brought company. Only time will tell. Don't really want to keep drawing one drops. You know, only drawing lands and one drops. One drops are not the most powerful things. I'd like more than one power creatures. Yeah, I think the Rangers will make some trades by Wednesday. I think they're gonna sell off some pieces. I'm I'm, I'm hoping so at least. Anyway. I think this is a good seller's market and I'm hoping that they, they have a lot of really good players to trade away, and I'm hoping that's what they do and go towards a, a real rebuild. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. Don't worry. I brought company. So not going with Judith here. As Judith would give them a really good Oath of Kaya target. I kind of want them to play Oath of Kaya this turn on something here. And then me, me play Judith next turn. Well, we put him down to one. So close. But the second part of Judith doesn't trigger for non to you know, it's only non token creatures whenever they die. Now the Rangers were close in the wild card like a month ago. But they're they're pretty far back now. They're like seven games back or so. They're not they're not in contention really. I yeah, the Cardinals could trade for Lynn. I could see that. I I really don't know why the Cardinals ever let Lynn get away, to be honest. Go get him, buddies. They better not have absorb. Just randomly in their deck. All right, Chandra was awesome. Get to see the power of Chandra in that game. 
get all these duresses in here. I don't know if I really want Noctis Grasp, honestly. This is again another matchup where Priest of the Forgotten Gods isn't so good. I guess I'll play some Noxious Grasps. Get Foot Light Fiend or Firebrand? Probably Foot Light Fiend. Shock isn't spectacular either, though. Alright, what if we go with this? Would I rather have Shock than Foot Light Fiend? Don't know, honestly. We'll go with the Fiend. I'm not sure which one. It kind of seems like the Red Sox aren't going to be doing very much at the deadline here. You know, like they got the World Series last year, and it kind of seems like they're just going to be standing pat. They're like right up against the luxury tax limit that they're just desperately trying to stay under this year to um, to reset the penalties because it's like compound penalties the more the more years in a row you're over the luxury tax and so they're trying to stay under it for a year to reset hits up t-train thanks for that twitch prime sub t-train with the twitch prime thank you very much well we are playing Mayhem Devil in here, but we're not playing Bantus. Originally, I had three Bantus in here, but uh, cut them because they're just too expensive to be reliable mana wise. All right, fifth land, not what we want. No more lands deck. I'm expecting this Chandra to get Thought Erasured away. Hmm. No, I don't go super greedy. Just think if I go super greedy with this. <laughs> there you go. Finally figured it out. Way to go. Thank you so much. No, I thought it was, like, how my opponent was, didn't do anything on turn three. I thought a Wrath was pretty likely there for turn four, so I didn't play the Firebrand. Oh, Elite Guard Mage. That card's good. Annoying. You and I are going to take him out. This is just going to be bad for you. Hmm. So the problem with attacking is the mobilized district. I don't think they're going to spend this next turn just activating mobilized district. Yep, you got it, Kitty Dexterity. Yeah, because we're sub one sub goal away from the 12 hour stream. We're at 19. So, yeah, we'll probably get there today. And then, so I, I think I'm going to be doing the 12, like, you know, assuming that we get the sub goal today, which, which we probably will. I think we'll be doing the 12 hour stream on Wednesday.
But yep, you got that right. No, I don't, I don't take a lunch break or anything during the 12 hour stream. Just I normally stream for seven hours. I just stream for an additional five. Instead of from three to 10, I do no, from noon it. to midnight that day. So I just, I eat right before I start streaming and then I eat afterwards. It's not that bad going 12 hours without eating. Sit back and watch it burn. Uh, we're four subs away. We're just this this sub goal gets us to gets us our twentieth sub goal, which means it's a twelve hour stream. Spark. And we have two cards in the entire deck that can get disparked. But they're two good ones. This Chemistry's Insight's really annoying because I can't just attack both my creatures because of Mobilize District. So the, the bad part about minusing, of course, is Othokaya. If my opponent does find Othokaya, it's rough for me. But I mean, it's it's not worth it to just never minus the Tybalt because Othokaya, because they just have other ways to get rid of Tybalt also. Oh, yep, we're on the wrong. I have the wrong deck starred. We are now on Rakdos Aristocrats. Yeah, start thing's a new thing that I'm doing, so I'll probably forget to do that quite a bit. Like I said, other way to deal with Tybalt. Let's draw a Chandra. Fine then. I'll leave. Or a Judith. Or a Chandra. Or a Rimadi Reveler. Yeah, Rimadi Reveler would have been really nice. Or just a land. No, we're going down the line here, Gray. We have not played Bant midrange yet. This isn't a fight you can win. That's more like it. So I think I'm gonna put the shocks in instead of the the fire uh, these footlight fiends. Again, I think. With that, with seeing Interplanar Beak in the first game, I didn't think that they were a hero precinct one deck, honestly. Hey, Chuck. Thanks for the sub there. Everybody get some hype votes in the chat for our new subscriber. Thank you so much there, Chuck. So I'm gonna, so Firebrand's gonna kill the hero. It's just whether or not I wanna try to, if I wanna do two to them or kill the Teferi. 
Probably worth killing the Teferi. Hardly my worst defeat. I'm not sure if that was worth it, honestly. So we do get to kill the Teferi, but we also, you know, deal one and we get the gutter bones back into play. I'm clear. So it's good to attack if they block Devil, and that's good. So they were blocking Devil, so it's good to attack with the Firebrand. Good. Glad we attacked. Looks like... Can we get these last two points of damage across? Looks like it. Should have just drawn the Thought Erasure. Don't think they were just holding on to the Thought Erasure. So there we go. Alright, one and one. I tried a high mana curve version of this deck. Not this deck specifically. I've played a higher mana curve Rakdos midrange. Uh, quite a bit before. Not really since, like, War of the Spark, though, but, like, um, you know, like, Seeger Squire, Dusk Legion Zealot, Plague Crafter, Midnight Reaper, Rekindling, Rekindling Phoenix, Ravenous Chupacabra, Remodi Reveler, stuff like that. Yeah, the scapeshift deck is tough. Um, that's what we're playing against here. Blood Sun is a good one as far as a, a card there, but you kind of need to be able to kill a just bunch of 2 2 zombies a lot. So, you know, cards like Flame Sweep, Legion's End. I don't know if I really want to be going Priest of Forgotten Gods here, do I? So what do I do? I play I play Priest. Next turn, I play Remati Reveler. Sack Gutterbones and Reveler. Play Dreadhorde Butcher. Hit him for one. Get rid of the Grazer. And then the next turn, I have the other Dreadhorde Butcher coming in also. Grazer is a huge pain. I think instead I'm just going to go Butcher, Butcher. And we're getting more damage in right now with like Gutter Bones hitting and stuff. 
Yes, Mayhem Devil is good against Cape Shift. Yes, because they are sacrificing land, so it does trigger I have a plan. the Mayhem Devil. That is a good point. That is a good one. Hmm. Ugh. Yeah, it would've been nice to have a Mayhem Devil. We just dealt six damage to him right there. I didn't think about Mayhem Devil with the Scape Shift. I'm, I kind of want to get a fourth, maybe play a fourth Mayhem Devil in here now, or maybe one in the sideboard. Yeah, that's what we're doing here, Rufus. We have Chandra three, we have four Chandra threes and three Mayhem Devils. That's what, we're, that's what our deck's trying to do. Sixteen. Should just be twelve, right? Oh, they get the other triggers from the other lands. Hey, Ish, too new. Good evening. I'd say that was a good hand for our opponent there. All right, a couple of legions ends, blood suns, and a bunch of duresses coming on in. Take out Priest again, Tybalt. Kind of feel like I should just take out the Tybalt from the deck and just play another Judith. A third Judith. A lot of these games, Judith would have been would be pretty good. I, I'm starting to think that two Judith isn't enough. So like Footlight Fiend, Mask of Immolation. Like, the thing that, like, Mask can do is Mask can, like, sack Dreadhorde Butchers even when they get a bunch of zombies. All right, let's give this a try. Nah, Tybalt hasn't done too much. Like, Tybalt's best use is against Esper. But maybe we don't even need Tybalt there, also. I think I'm going to take out the Tybalt. It's a good-looking hand. 
Yeah, we yeah we had a lot of lands for our 22 land deck last game too. That's true. That can happen though. Yay, no grazer. Oh yeah, is it land destruction one was definitely fun. Like that one. I really like Haphazard Bombardment as a card. It's a fun card to play. Deputy of Detention, huh? Deputy of Detention's annoying. Let's take out my Dreadhorde Butcher here. Yeah. Or they just have that. Hey, what's up, QQ? Those are two just really good draws there back to back. Give them other things to be doing here. That was a good one. You know, if they had nothing to do but the, the deputy. No, they get to ramp and have like this blocker and everything. That was a really good draw. And of course, the Rejuvenator found a white land also, so they get to welcome plus deputy. <laughs> or they just get to keep saving deputy, too. This is Biffy Quiro. The artist, the song called Biblical. Yeah, they just they drew really incredibly well there. That was super frustrating and we couldn't get a third land. War is coming. I will not. That was really frustrating. Prepared. 
All right, so I want to play a couple. I want to play like at least one more game with this deck, maybe two. I want another Judith in here over this Tybalt. And then uh, let's get a fourth Reveler in here over the fourth Footlight Fiend. Footlight Fiend isn't as valuable with having the other Gutter Bones in here. Let's do that. Not, I'm, I don't know about fourth Mayhem Devil still. I don't know. I definitely want fourth Reveler, though. Maybe we'll we'll try fourth devil. Devil will go in for another full life fiend there. All right, let's try this. Just gonna play a match or two over in ranked with this. It's certainly possible that with taking out the Footlight Fiends, you know, trimming two Footlight Fiends, that it makes um, Judith worse, so that putting in another Judith ends up not working out. Our mana has just been horrible every single game. It's either just all sorts of lands, or just one or two lands of the same color. We've had such mana trouble this whole time. Yeah, I think the mask is worth it. I really like the mask. Like, we can't ever have just, like, three or four lands. Like, three to five lands. Never have that. And both colors. Just never, ever have that. But we already kind of played against Mono Red, so I already talked about um, us against Mono Red. This is not not a good matchup for Rakdos because they're just more consistent, you know, having... You know, like, they're just, like, the single-color deck. They're just a lot more consistent in everything. Um, and this is just not a matchup that we really want to face. But oh well, here we are. Yeah, I tried Heartfire. It's it's very high upside, but very low downside. There's times when Heartfire is amazing and kills your opponent because it does so much damage, and there's other times where Heartfire is just just does nothing. It's just a blank card in your hand. the worst league ever as far as mana we had a game earlier where we just had like four swamps couldn't play any of our cards now we just have two mountains there can't play any of our cards Obviously, I just took out two Footlight Fiends. This is like a this is actually just a good matchup for Footlight Fiends. This is maybe Footlight Fiends' best matchup for us. I 
All these matchups have been bad Priest of Forgotten Gods matchups, though. Just Mono Red and Scape Shift and Control. Like, none of these are green decks or just other mid-range creature decks. Yeah, waffle the yeah, the the code works again today now. It didn't work yesterday. Uh, but no, I don't play other heart other card games, like Hearthstone artifact stuff like that. No, I don't. I don't play those games. Yeah, I just want <laughs> I just want like three or four lands with both both colors. Like how is this so so difficult? We just played two games in a row where I only had two lands. Can we just get can we get a third? I mean the butcher is just gonna get shocked here, so it's there's definitely a kind of game that I wouldn't be playing Butcher here to just to let it die to shock like this without being able to kill another creature. But not this game when I have three three drops in hand that's going to be taking up my next turns. But ordinarily, that's not a good spot to be playing Butcher. You want you want to play Butcher when there's already a creature on the battlefield so that like, if they kill your Butcher, you get to kill their creature kind of thing. The best thing possible for me there was if they did not actually not attack with the Viachino Pyromancer. Hey, so we have the backup Chandra. Right? So I'll let the Chandra die to a Chain Whirler. Have anything that kills it. I don't. All right, it looks like the opponent got stuck on two lands that game. We may see more tiny Chandras after a rotation with, you know, with the removal of Land War Elf and with just the overall metagame slowing down. There could be more little Chandras. It's possible. Don't you know? We just don't know yet.
Yeah, the full art basics are available in the store. They're the card styles. Chain Whirler is a huge problem. I do not have anything good for Chain Whirler. That's for sure. All my stuff does 2 damage. I guess I have I brought in a couple coils. Maybe we'll draw a coil. That'll do. Mother Ludi always say, fight fire with fire. Can we do 18 before they do 7? It's a little unlikely, but we'll see. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fun. Oh, they're so cute. Before. All right, well, we gotta do sixteen before they do three. <laughs> Not likely. If we both had like twenty more life, you know, we probably get there. You know, if it's thirty-five to twenty-six, we probably get there. But I don't think about fifteen to three that we're getting there. Go get him, buddy. Just gotta hope they draw land for a couple of turns. Hmm. Lava coil, you're too late. Need you earlier. I need like Judith or something here. Mayhem Devil. Say hi to my fiery friends. I feel like my opponent has a shock. They're trying to decide if they want to shock something. All right, they got to draw land. Draw land one time. Mountain. Mountain. The last card. Oh, the last card. It was, it was there. 
Yeah, stupid Lava Coil not being Shock or Lightning Strike or something. What, you want me to Lava Coil my own creature and exile it? Dreadhorde Butcher doesn't doesn't trigger whenever it exiles. So that wouldn't wouldn't do anything. So there we go. Um Mono Red's still tough. Uh you know, we we got to three three games and stuff there. Um still still a tough matchup. Um And so yeah, like you know, we went one three, we went O two against Mono Red. 1-1 one, one against the other decks. The Lost Escape Shift was disappointing. Like, this this deck, I think, would have an okay Escape Shift matchup, I would think. But maybe, I don't know, maybe not. I, I thought we were going to be okay against Escape Shift, but... You know, we just had tons of lands one game and only two lands the other game. And our opponent drew super well the other game after we dressed him right away. It was like every draw step was like a perfect draw on the curve. So we lost. Magic's a tough game. Magic's a tough one. Um, but this is a this is a fun deck, honestly. I I like this deck. I was I was expecting us to do better, but with the with the pairings of just mono red a bunch. You know, like the you know two times against mono red there. I don't think I don't even know if I got paired against mono red two times all last week. Like maybe like definitely under five times. So it was just kind of unlucky to get paired against it twice. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's Rakdos Aristocrats. I think I like the, the little bit of changes that we made here, kind of trimming down on, on the four foot light fiend. I think maybe the 12 one drops is a little excessive. So going down to 10, getting that extra Remati Reveler, Judith and Mayhem Devil in here. I think I like that. Uh, we did miss not having lightning strike. Wonder if one of the mask of immolations should be a lightning strike. That was something that we kind of met that we that would have been nice to have for three damage. Three, the three toughness was kind of important in a couple of spots. And whether it's um, Chain Whirler, Deputy of Detention, Chandra Spitfire. Those aren't really the cards you see a ton of, but they, you see them, you know. And there we go. Uh... No, we took out the Tibalts from the deck. I'm certainly happy with taking out Tibalts. We don't, we don't need that card. But there we go. That's Rakdos Aristocrats. So if you're watching the video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but that's it here for Rakdos Aristocrats. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.